Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Open Ultra Leap with 4 teams that I think are gonna help you a lot. So let's start off with the first team showcase out of the total 4 with a Virizion up on the lead. This Pokemon is gonna be extremely good, it is super spammy and can get there to the Stone Age fairly fast with only 5 of those double kicks, so perhaps you can say 10 of those kicks. Anyways, at the back we're having uh, the Shadow Steelix which is just gonna work pretty well on the safe sweet spot while our closer is gonna be the Red Rock. So for the backline it's pretty heavy, it can deal a lot of damage with its moveset, uh, movesets and of course you can apply a lot of pressure with those Psychic Fangs debuffing the enemy and that's why I like Steelix on the current meta of Ultra League as my safe switch. Uh, the Dragon Tails are also adding up in damage and when you're using a Shadow Steelix, you are still gonna be able to do a lot of solid work against your enemies with that Pokemon. The Big Mouth Metal Trascan, the advanced version of Registeel, uh, is also gonna be able to nuke down unsuspected opponents with a Shadow Earthquake, but if you have Crunch, just go for it, it is gonna help you much more against those Grass types or that uh, match up with the Trevenant and eventually the Ghost types because Crunch is gonna be super effective there, while Earthquake will get you the nuke possibility against the fighter which can also come in handy. Of course you are always gonna need something like a Psychic Sphinx to be your first charge attack so keep that in mind. Uh, the closer of this line, the Red Jerok is gonna be able to do a solid amount of work with its moveset, able to get to that stone net super fast with the lock-ons, while your Focus Blast can annihilate down a lot of meta threats, especially those steel types and the opposing Red Steel or Red Jerok, whatever they have. Of course, you can always use its legacy move, the Earthquake, if you feel like you have to, and you can get there pretty uh, faster than uh, your uh, Focus Blast, which is pretty neat for your Red Jerok. So keep that in mind if you want to play a different version of uh, Red Rock on your team. As a core breaker here, we have the Basil, which can just dominate the matchup against the Virizion. Has a very good uh, counter usage against uh, the backline, so you can see as to how this Pokemon can be used as a core breaker. But still, I'm not sure that we're gonna see a lot of Basils around. Perhaps I will make a video about it. I'm not sure yet, but it has potential. However, we're not gonna see it for sure around. And you can rely on those three Pokemon for this line to completely destroy down anything else in the meta. Ultra League is in general one of the best metas that you can play in Go Battle League and we like it a lot because it is balanced overall. So we're having the Talon Flame up on the lead for the next team showcase with a Giratina as our closer and a Wall Rain as our safe switch. Up on the lead with your Talon Flame, you can do a lot of pressuring with your charge attacks, especially with a potential Brave Bird that can always nuke down unsuspected opponents, while Flame Charge is gonna be used to vap up your, uh, to your fast attacks, the Incinerates, while it can also destroy down with back to back moves any steel type at all. And double blocking your Talon Flame might be a very good option for you most of the times, especially if you can farm down right after with those uh, Incinerates. And trust me, you are definitely gonna get those shields back with a potential Brave Bird no matter what. At the back, the Wolverine is gonna be able to do a solid work on the safe switch option. It can draw out something like a Scrafty so that your Talon Flame then can finish it off and your Giratina can remain as your main closer. Uh, this Pokemon you definitely need to run for the current meta, uh, the Dragon Claw, while your fast attack can always vary between something like a Dragon Breath or a Shadow Claw, so it's up to you. I recommend using a Dragon Breath to be honest for those Dark types, but of course Shadow Claw is gonna uh, give, give you more play with your charge attacks, which is pretty neat. As your second charge attack though, you can always use something like a Shadow Sneak, a Shadow Force for the Nook, or even an Ancient Power for those Flyers. I really like Ancient Power for this meta, not because it can always give you with a 10% I believe chance that uh, boost on your stats, but also it will give you coverage against Charizards which are gonna be everywhere in the meta, I'm gonna showcase it in a while, against Town Flames, against Pidgeots, against uh, other Flyers and yeah, you're not gonna regret using uh, your Ancient Power most of the times as your closer with
with your Giratina. The core breaker of this team is always gonna be the Regirock because Stoneheads can be a severe threat to the Town Flame, can also do a lot of damage to that Wall Rain, while it can go toe to toe up against that Giratina, but it has a soft loss. However, it's mainly here because of the Town Flame matchup and the Ice Typing that is gonna struggle a little bit against the Regirock. Other than that, you're gonna be just fine, and this team is looking super good. We just talked about Charizard and how this is gonna be an ultimate threat for the Ultra League meta. So here it is on the next team showcase on a pretty strong line. Tremendent upon the lead, we got the Registrar as our closer, and of course, the amazing Charizard as our safe switch. This team is super good, I like it. Potential to pressure with those charge attacks. Your opponent has to shield about 5 times if they want to survive, so that's why it is gonna be super good. You got the Zap Cannons, the Focus Blast, the Shadow Balls, and the Blast Burns that can just destroy down the enemy. And trust me when I say this, back to back Blast Burn is no joke at all. Anything can be obliterated down by the Charizard, so that's why we're having it as a safe switch. If you got a sad one, feel free to use it, but I'm gonna use my regular one because of it being rank 1. I know that's a nice flex, but still you can always do with any kind of IV, because Charizard with a new wing attack is just gonna be absolutely amazing. Register on the closing part is just gonna dominate against a lot of matchups, especially if you can draw out that Swambert or whatever else that your Red Steel is afraid of with your Charizard, so that then you can finish it off with your Trevenant, and then Reggie will just destroy down the enemy, especially if you can also get some shields out of your opponent with the other two Pokemon. As a core breaker here, we got the Town of Lane mainly because of its ability to nook down and wall down that uh, Trevenant, however it still needs to block that Shadow Ball at the back with back to back uh, Flame Charges, it can, do it, it can do a lot of solid work against Red Steel, but against Charger it is always an even match up. What you want to do against a Tal of Flame lead is to always rotate to your Red Steel, so with that in mind I think you're gonna be just fine against anything else on the Ultra League. Ultra League cannot be played without a Cresselia, so here it is on the next team showcase up on the lead while our backline will be formed by a Pidgeot and a Cobalion. Well, you can clearly see here that we do not have Pidgeot at all, we are using Staraptor on this battle clip, but it doesn't matter at all, uh, you can always use one of the two because they basically do the same job. They can both wall down the Trevenant matchup while they have that nuke possibility and to be honest I like Staraptor even more. However, people suggest to go with a Pidgeot, so that's why I have it here on your left, but with Star Raptor you get access to close combat, which can just help you even more against your core breaker, and that is gonna be uh, the Red Steel. So with that in mind, we're also gonna have a solid safe switch on the face of Cobalion with Second Sword and Double Kicks to be your main way to go, while Stone Edge can be pretty helpful against those Fire types or the Flyers in general. Against Ghost types as well, Stone Edge will come in pretty high handy, especially the Giratinas and the Trevenant, so yeah, Cobalion, a reliable safe switch for any line for the Ultra League. Upon the lead, I really like the possibility to use that uh, Cresselia without Grass Knot, especially because Future Sight is gonna help you against certain threats, something like a Town of Flame or a Charizard or another Flyer which is pretty neat, while Moonblast will be your primary charge attack, especially when you can also debuff the opponent, at least have a chance to do so, and whenever you do, well Cresselia can tank even more moves which is pretty neat, trust me, trust me on that, uh, Cresselia isn't joking around so that is gonna be all for today's video i hope you like the teams i have four teams in total showcase today i believe that uh, every single one has its usage I like the possibility to go in with various threats against your enemies and write down please in the comment section what else you would like to see from this channel moving forward because I'm trying to uh, experimenting on swords on something different for my videos so with your help we can always do that. Thank you for watching trainers, good luck on, on your ultra league, absolutely lost my words here and with that said I hope to see you all into the next one. Thank you for watching trainers, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and if you want to support even more, well joining as a member can always help with that matter. Thank you once again and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!